This is Game of Inches. Six teams of anglers across the ice belt compete for five days for a grand prize of $6,000. Eligible species are narrowed down to seven categories of freshwater fish. The total combined length of the seven fish is their final score. Each team records their longest fish in each category. Who will take home the $6,000 at the end of day five? Like I got, had this fish right to the hole, right away, and I was like, what's going on? Guys, we are here at the lake. It is 6.38. We could start fishing at 6.43, I think it is. So we're just fishing right down here. We're going to walk on. Adam's snowmobile uh, blew up yesterday at the lake. It's skipping and doing some weird things. So we're going to try and knock off a white fish, white fish species this morning and hopefully uh, do some sight fishing for them. Uh, get my underwater camera hooked up and maybe get some footage of them coming in for you guys and I'm gonna get at it set up and then when we turn the video camera on next we should be fishing Everything is awesome. My jacket, so. Everything is cool when you're part of Fishing Geeks team. I'll be back. Yeah, with the jig and minnow, you catch pretty much anything. And we should be able to catch them in the afternoon deep there too. Yeah, set up the cameras. I think we should just stay here till we get our white fish. Yep. And then we could decide what we want to do after. Yeah. So if we don't get a white fish here today for some reason, we'll have to go to Elbow tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we will though. On. On? Small? Inches. <laughs> That's inches. Oh well. But this is inches. That's what we want today. All right. Let's do 17 inch. 17 inches. Mouth closed to the tip. 17 inches! Oh yeah! All right. We're gonna do some video footage. I'm gonna use the underwater camera. Hooked up to my Dakota Lithium. This AquaView takes a lot of juice to run. And that has a lot of juice to give. Saw a white fish on the camera. He left. It's slow today, I'm not gonna lie. My honey hole for white fish is not panning out like we planned. Sean had one bite. I have everything set up here with the camera and I'm watching white fish. Perfect. I don't know. He's down there eating. 
He's down there eating and recording. Yeah, we're recording. Got him. Burbot? Burbot on here. Six pound test. I just, I was trying to get the heater going and I seen a burbot eating my chum down there. Hopefully this is bigger than 28. I'm just taking it easy on him here. In the camera? Oh, no. Little guy. Aw. Oh, well, you never know how they look on the camera. That's good. So, I just hook a little minnow like that there. And then uh, just help get it down. And I do have a little upper one up there in case a walleye comes. Just second hook that whitefish left but he knows there's food here did you talk about how deep we're fishing for the whites no we are we're fishing in about 32 feet of water this whitefish is still swimming around down there doesn't look like a big one. Boy, is he ripping around down there. Why he's not eating. Come on. I'm just focused right now. I got to get this white fish checked off. Basically just using chunks of minnow. The other one picked it off bottom. Patience. You keep chum down there and fish will come. Why? It's not eating. Eat. Well, what's happening, Adam? No white fish, I lost it. We've decided to hit some pike up for the afternoon bite. And we're heading there now. We are out on our pike spot. We're gonna run some big Cisco's jumbo smelts. Pretty simple. Just hang them and wait. So when we do our pike setup, we do a nice spread. Sit in, the, sit in the middle, we'll put flags all around us, then we wait. First flag is up. Oh yeah. On? Yep. Oh yeah, big nice one. Oh, huge. Oh. First pike of the trip. Okay, Adam's working at this pike. We got our live well set up, so we got time. And we're gonna get this out, and we'll uh, got, it. got it good. We'll 
I'll show you this fish here. We're just using a single, One single treble hook. Keep it simple. I know pikes. everybody likes to use quick strike rigs, but uh, you know we're not using monster bait. Okay, let's get this fish measured. Get some points. Not our monster, but or is that half? That's half. Oh, okay. 34 and a half. 34 and a half inch pike out of Deef. That's a good starter fish. Get some more inches on the board. There we go. Yeah, oh. you gotta push them down. Here you go. Nice healthy fish. There he goes. Good job, brother. 34 and a half. Sorry, it did file repair, which I don't know is a great thing. All right, we just hooked this pike. Our GoPro footage said file repaired, so we're hoping it's saved. I'm getting out of this. So 35 and three quarters. 35 and three quarters, almost 36, 35 and three quarters. Just letting this 35 and three quarter inch northern go. A little bit more of an upgrade. Got this one on the giant Cisco. And he's gone. Number two, upgrading. Yep. So far, oh, oh yeah, it's got some weight. Oh my goodness. Is this huge? Oh my goodness. It looks huge, Adam. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Here it comes. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that single hook. Can I get it out? I would no. get the spreaders. Just a single treble. Pike spreaders are nice. You don't clump down, clamp down on them. That's gonna get hot. I'll check and show you guys this fish. I'd say that goes 35. Fat. Let's do a quick here. Nope. 34 and a quarter. 34 and a half. Belly on that thing. Gone. Big. Mm, it's decent. Oh Our feeding today. Get this little dude came out to play. All right, guys. We'll see you soon, and we'll be on our. Walleye spot. Just got a three and a half inch Cisco. It's just some split shots to get it down. Putting this on our jaw jacker. We're gonna hang it about foot off bottom. Well, hopefully the evening bite here for walleye is fast and furious. But we need these deadlines down because we need a big burbot too. And we're banking on big walleye and big bourbon on these jaw jackers. We can still get a big bourbon on our rattle baits too. We'll be running some frostbite rattle baits. There we go. One done.
On. It's oh, big one, big one. I am. I'm recording. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I told you I was recording. Okay. You do that. You do all the. Do you have any pliers? Yeah. I got that all. They're feeding tonight. I'll get my GoPro going. Two. 22. 22 and three quarters. Not 23 yet. 22 and three quarter inch walleye. Nice. Well, got a nice walleye here. Sean and I are already yelling at each other, <laughs> but we love each other. We are on the board. First walleye. <laughs> it's a decent one. What was it again, Adam? Tw just under 23, so 22, 22 and three quarters. Where's a hole I could release this guy in? Right there. I gotta go release this fish. So, yeah, we've been going hard and it just uh, takes a toll on everyone. It's, you want someone to do something right away and it doesn't get done and then you get mad and fish flaps around like that. It's warm out here that uh, holes are already coming open from weeks past so there's lots of holes out here oh we got some of that well that's a good start hey sean yeah. we just increased 22.75 oh i forgot to show you guys what i'm using this is the tantrum blue yellow silver and it's the two inch or 1.8. Well, I love these. Joe Jacker. I'm for you, Tiffin. Big burbot, come on. I'm recording there. Just a big fish. Big bourbon, I bet. Got eight pound test on here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit easy. Hopefully we got an upgraded fish here. Nice bourbon. Not huge. Yeah. That might be a little upgrade. Oh, take a length, but I doubt it. Nice fish. We'll go to the bump board here yeah it's gonna go oh they're hard to measure 23 again should let this fish go in a different hole <laughs> I'll let him go in my jigging hole here bye bye Saw that, came up and just hammered it a foot under the ice. I'm gonna eat this tomorrow and it's gonna taste good. Oh, big fish down there. You see that? Big fish just rolled in. Here he comes, here he comes. Make him work, make him work for it. Gone. Big fish! Oh yeah, another one. Nice. Look at, he just inhaled that tantrum. Just inhaled it. I'm keeping that one too. Because I can. Big fish! Oh 
ya. What time can we go till? Two minutes. Yeah. The bite shut down on us. We have like two minutes left. And we have not upgraded our burbot yet. So, tomorrow's gonna be burbot and whitefish. We're at the buzzer. And yeah, we're gonna be checking in. We're gonna do another video after. Well, we just got back to the lodge, Steve. Yeah, we need that whitefish. And that's so, what we're gonna work tomorrow on. So we're gonna head over to the Elbow Marina because there's a ton of whitefish there. We'll put on inches tomorrow and the other team's gonna be like, what are they gonna do the last day? <laughs> they don't know how many species we caught. Yeah. So, so uh, we're going to bed here. And thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow morning.